Candela. So today I wanted to tell to you about uni eggs. So part of my practice and it's part of the work that I do, I work a lot with crystals. Um, and a lot of times I've been working, I came across to learn about uni eggs. Um, and I've used uni egg for a long time. I researched it for a long time before using them and I started using them in my own practice. And I can't, I'm constantly researching and diving and diving, the, uh, and diving the deeper in my own practice. And about three years ago, I started introducing the use of uni eggs to certain clients of mine. Um, clients who needed to deal with self-confidence, with uh, trauma, with uh, energy and alignments, so forth and so on. Um, to me, um, uni eggs should not be used in isolation. Uh, I always refer to uni eggs as a uni practice, just like when you're doing uh, yoga is a practice. Uh, being a, a physician or being a lawyer is called a license to practice, because you're practicing and the practicing never ends. The, or the practicing always gets a deeper um, if you want to, if you are uh, constantly, uh, constantly growing, you will feel, um, you will feel that. So, this is really uh, something that I've received a lot of questions about. I do workshops on uni eggs, um, and uh, it is something that, in particular in Canada, it's something that's being rediscovered by a lot of women. Uh, in the United States, the revolution has taken place for a long time, meaning that it's a lot more known, well known now. If you just Google on YouTube, you'll find a lot of videos of women talking about their personal experiences using them. Um, I, where I live in Montreal, in Canada, in Quebec more particularly, it's something that women are now looking into, they are now diving into, now searching and trying to, wanting to learn more. So a lot of my workshops have been just workshops for beginners, for people who have never even worked with crystals, so they can kind of like have a better idea of what it is. Um, I've started to do, and hopefully uh, 2017, we're going to start doing a lot more advanced um, workshops because you know it's it's great for me to meet people who are just starting their practice learning about the tool and are very enthusiastic but I really want to get to the point where we can actually talk about their history talk about the different traditions of the practice and do exercise and learn um, do dream work and do more advanced stuff than um, the initial step of uh, connecting with the stone and so for those of you who don't know uh, this is, for example, this is a rough piece of uh, obsidian, of black obsidian. So, this piece can be polished. So here you have a rough piece of polished black obsidian. And so this is basically the process of making a uni egg. You take a rough piece of any type of crystals, not any type, not all of the um, crystals can be used internally as uni eggs. But the way I teach is that there's two things. You have the internal practice when you do have the eggs, the egg inserted and there are practice that you can do with that. But to me, the most important when you're beginning or when you're starting a new is really the external use of the egg um, that you can do all year round. So also when you're not able to have the egg internally for X, Y, Z reasons, some people have medical reasons why they cannot have and hold the eggs internally, there's still a, a variety of things that you can do with the eggs externally because the eggs remain a crystal. So one of the, the obsidian uni egg here is one. So I've showed you earlier on every this small rough piece and also because there are different sizes so this is a medium size and this is a small size and they are also a big one I do not use big one and most of the time I recommend starting with the medium uh, unless you just had a, a, a baby not too long ago then I'll, I'll recommend you go with the larger size um, those are for my recommendation now always follow your intuition always let your intuition guide you if you we have done the work, your intuition is going to lead you to what you really need at the moment. Um, and there are a variety of, um, of uh, uni eggs. Here are some from the small side or small. I'm going to show you, for example, I have here a rough piece of sodalite. Of, um, yeah, sodalite. I was going to say it was the piece less um, And here I have a small uni egg made out of soda light. So really from the color blue you know that's going to be a good thing for your throat chakra. Uh, this may also be calling you to use from other things as well. But um, 
a lot of the eggs are associated with different uh, energy centers, magical sphere, um, and have different energy to them. So that's why we, we, you can use them for to work on specific things. Um, here's a clear quartz, rose quartz. This is a small rose quartz, and this is a medium rose quartz. Okay, and then and this is a tiger eye, small tiger eye. So it's really also interesting, and the difference between using uh, yoni eggs um, uh, rather than using just crystal is that you have that energy in your womb center. Your womb center is magnifies whatever is in there, uh, help whatever is in there grow. Um, it is a way to feel the energy in a different way as well. Uh, when you're working on um, releasing trauma, releasing whatever doesn't serve you anymore, the uh, system of belief and all that stuff, the egg can help you do that. And that's a whole different thing. That, that's a whole... Um, it's a practice, it's a, it's a whole course that I do teach. And I just wanted to give you this little taste so that if you, were, if you ever wondered about uni eggs, you will know a little bit more. Now, I have a lot of women who come to me and they're like, you know, they bought their eggs and, you know, nothing is happening. They don't really see what the hype is and they don't really understand. And that may be simply because you don't learn, you don't know the techniques to how to use them. You don't know how to use them for spiritual um, growth or spiritual development or for uh, inner personal transformation. Um, I know you can find a lot of... Um, uh, some of the women who brought their eggs bought it for to do a workshop on tantra, tantra and stuff like that. I don't really teach from that perspective. I really t teach from a perspective of self-development, uh, spiritual and personal development. Um, so the added bonus of you know having the physical um, benefits such as uh, being more responsive, uh, your having your yoni being more responsive, and the yoni is basically your vaginal canal, your vagin, your vagina. Uh, so it helps with that, but that's just to me. That's just a bonus from using the egg. That's not something that you. Um, that's not your end goal. That's something that's gonna happen um, when you do your practice and you do the exercises, as well as the toning of the uh, perineal muscles. The other things that I do not teach. I don't teach to uh, lift weight with the vagina. I don't think that was that was not part of the practice when it was created, and that's really kind of like a newer kind of a thing that people are doing. And uh, I'm kind of really wary of things that are too new because we don't know enough of the consequences. What you do know is, is that, for example, you have a muscle in your jaw that enables you to smile. And you know that when you smile a lot and when you smile too much, just like when, you, when you're chewing gum, that muscle starts hardening and it starts a little bit of hurting, or, but it starts hardening. So much like when you're lifting weights with, your, with other muscles in your body, when you're working on your muscles of the body, they start being harder. They started gaining um, mass as well. So just think about like hardening that muscle and working that muscle to lift the weight to whatever purpose and objective you're doing. Uh, think about what it's doing to the muscle down there, which is really not the part, the, 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 the objective, um, uh, the initial objective. So uh, that's kind of my line of, of teaching. My eggs are 90, uh, 90 US dollars each. Um, and I know it's pricey. It is pricey because all of my clients get the benefits of my own knowledge. I've been using them for uh, almost six years now. And I've developed uh, and studied six different traditions of practice uh, from the Asian tradition, the Indian tradition, the Kemetic tradition, the Sankofa tradition that, I've, that I'm developing and currently developing uh, based on the knowledge that I've gotten, um, the Western tradition. Um, so there's different things that I'm looking at and that I've... Uh, I've uh, created and shaped and uh, and um, perfected over the years, I'll say. And those are the techniques that, you know, when the client is stuck somewhere, when the client has a specific objective to work on, that's what we work on. Uh, all of the purchase comes with a free consultation of 30 minutes. Um, if you are uh, on, in Montreal, usually I do face-to-face -face consultations. So I get the time, you get the time to actually feel the egg, to connect with it before deciding if you want to purchase it. Um, if for people who are abroad, I just do that over Skype or over the phone. Uh, but I give a really range of services. When you have the eggs can cause release of energy. So that release of energy can appear by you having uh, having moments where you're crying, where having uh, certain specific dreams, having you know certain emotions coming up, and you just need to have the resources 
uh, to deal with uh, all of the type of emotions that are going to come up. Especially if you have some trauma that you have repressed and that you don't even know or forgot that it was there. Uh, I have clients who do have that. So I do provide that support. Those are additional services. So it's, um, it's a little pricier than the other the uni eggs you may find anywhere. Uh, but all at the same time, my clients are reassured that, you know, I've been doing this for a long time and I'm, I am also a healer, so I have an array and a set of tools to deal with uh, any type of uh, emotional release. Uh, and this is also why, because my clients all have my phone number, they have my email in case it's an emergency, emergency or in case they have some type of form of distress and they need access to me, you know, quite f fast, uh, I do provide that. So it's, I don't take this very lightly. I don't sell a lot of eggs. That's why I don't have a website for it. You have to contact me. I have to know you. I have to know who you are. I, I will take the time to speak with each of my clients to know your name, to know what you need, to explain to you the basic things you need to know, even if you don't want to have a long-term practice with me. I will give you all of the knowledge that you need, um, the basic knowledge that you need, uh, so that also if you go see and look at online, you can have better discernment about what you want and what you don't want. The other thing also is that I do, during my workshops, although also women buy eggs from me during the workshop because I explain why I chose these eggs, I explain who's my supplier, and I've had the same supplier the past for the past five years. I am now currently exploring other suppliers because uh, my eggs also usually are very pricey and they are even pricier to get them to Canada. So that's part of the reason even why the price is at $90 plus tax. Um, the other thing is that I'm trying to source myself my eggs for myself. This is why also I'm trying to look at different uh, supplies for crystals, even to see if I can find someone here that could uh, make them for me uh, here or abroad. So those are things that I'm exploring. Those are things that I knew will require some more investment on my part in order to be able to supply and source my own eggs. And so that um, uh, that's something that's in the back of my mind or back of my head as well to be able to provide you know more affordable eggs. Uh, but for the moment, um, that's what I'm working with. Um, other than that, I just wanted to show you before I go the other things that you can find on the market, which I don't recommend, uh, but just to make you aware because this is more of an informational video so that you kind of like know what people are talking about when they're talking about uni eggs. So some of the, the uni eggs that I do work with that I've shown you, for example, this obsidian egg does not have any hole. It's, it is a one piece, so it hasn't been, it's not broken, it hasn't been put together, anything like that. Um, the same for the rose quartz, it's just one piece of quartz that has been polished in the shape of an egg, okay? Now, in the workshop, I explain how to take care of it, how to work with it, and the different stuff. Now, you can find other eggs that have holes in them. Um, and holes usually are made in order to peel, uh, put in a string, and um, just so that the person can... Uh, take the take it out, pull out the egg whenever they want, and with the undrilled egg, that means the egg that doesn't have that don't have any holes. There are simple techniques and simple positions that you can put yourself in if really, really you need to have the egg to come out for whatever reason. So the egg cannot get lost in your vagina or in your, in your yoni. The egg cannot get lost. It cannot get stuck. Um, there are simple positions and breathing techniques that will make it come out if you really want to do that. But there are specific reasons why you will want to have and use with eggs that you cannot pull out yourself, especially when you work on different things on your own self. Patience being one of them, surrendering being another one. Um, so those are eggs, for example, that have this little uh, string. So now you can find them that have just a string. This one has like a bunch of pearls and a bunch of uh, crystals in on them or whatever. Um, and then the egg is there. So if I bring it really close, you can see that there there is a string right there. And um, okay, this is the medium. It's a set of three, and this is a small. Here you can really see there are also some crystals on the top. And then um, this is a, what's considered in a, a large in this set. And as you can see, the large in this set is pretty much about the same size of the medium. It's really close to the same size. Okay. Now, I'm going to give you two reasons why I don't use these and I've never used these and I don't recommend my clients to use them. Uh, the number one is that when you look here it's like you see there are little holes on each side where the string is in and even when you look at the string you can see that there is a little space there. 
there's a little space in that hole. Meaning when you're going to insert it in your yoni, all the juice is going to get in there. Um, now, I have yet to see a yoni egg supplier or a yoni egg practitioner that can um, successfully show me a technique to clean this thoroughly. Uh, I do have some of my clients who really won't, don't want don't want to have to worry about this kind of things, and I'm also someone who's like I want to be carefree. I don't want to have to worry about it. if there's any type of thing that's left in there that could be causing bacteria. Um, I've heard of women who use this and who have recurring infections, um, so it, it is a concern of mine uh, that I what I don't recommend it because it's just not clear um, how to sterilize that, and those eggs cannot be boiled. So. Uh, or how to not even just sterilize it, but get rid of whatever um, whatever substance that will get in there. So that's just a concern of mine. And the second concern that I've mentioned before is that with this string, people are tending to not do the proper exercise. If you want to work on patients or surrendering, you're going to be tempted to just pull out uh, the eggs whenever you feel like it, whenever you're feeling impatient and all of that. So you'll miss out on a lot of growth, a lot of personal growth. And finally... Um, well, those are the two things that I was going to uh, give you. Because a lot of this stuff is just stuff that I give in my courses. Um, and this is also a question that I've received was from someone who was saying, you know, I'm searching online for information and on techniques and on other things, on uni eggs, and I'm not finding much. And I say, yeah, you're not finding much because it is a sacred practice. It's just like the real, the deep, um, uh, advanced meditation techniques are not going to be on YouTube. Uh, that's because the master's teachers are not going to put them on YouTube. You know, some people may go to conferences, record them, and post them there. But because what you don't understand is, it's like, for example, for me, I don't even have a website because I need to see the client. I need to talk to the client. I need to explain certain things to the client. If, whether the client decides to use the egg with me or not, um, it is important to me so that this person understands um, what you're getting into, understands what you may need along the way, which is important, which is not all of the practitioners, especially when you're, a lot of people now are getting into the uni egg business because it's becoming very popular. Um, but I've seen people who don't even use the egg, but who are selling them. So just be very careful because if you have any type of like, you know, energy called release while you're using them and you go back to this person, that person may not be able to help or assist you. And I've had people come to me and say, you know, I'm using the egg, I have this and that going on. And I have to tell them, like, in order to get a consultation, you have to wait a month and a half or two months because I'm booked up. And the only people that do, uh, can, that can contact me for emergency are my current clients. And uh, when I'm booked up, I'm booked up. So I think it's really important, even ethically, uh, for vendors to be very careful to explain to you, at least at the very least, explain to the client that these kind of things can happen. The caveat to you know what happens when the eggs, some of the scenarios that can happen, it doesn't happen to all other women. Some women already are already doing energetical work and other things, so they are able to deal with whatever release of energy or changes of energy that are going on. Um, and so it is, however, important to let them know that so that they, they are aware. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of like what I will say um, uh, on uni eggs. Uh, if you want to have, uh, I'm, I'm working on workshops and online uh, programs so that, you know, from the comfort of your home, you'll be able to just purchase it and have it uh, for you forever. Uh, I've seen that there are practitioners who basically give you access to their content, but you have to subscribe. And once the subscription, once you finish the subscriptions, you don't have access to this uh, videos anymore like what I'm trying to do really is to give you a, a basic content that you'll be able to keep for your uh, for your lifetime um, but I also always stress um, to me that it is very important to master your cycle to master your own feminine energy before introducing the egg and it's very important to take your time to connect with the egg a lot of women will have the egg and will say you know they don't feel anything there's, there's nothing happening there's nothing going on and sometimes it's just because they got the egg and they just really inserted it and was waiting for the egg to do its magic there's no con there's no connection there it's really you have to understand that when you're working with crystals you're working with a mineral, mineral entity this mineral entity is here to help you uh, so if you don't perceive it as a friend if you don't perceive it as a sacred practice you're not going to have the same experience if you perceive it as a tool like a hammer or you know uh, something that's inert uh, you're not going to have the same experience either 
So sometimes you have to shift your perspective and really understanding. And, um, and that's why it's really important to um, use the external practice as much as you are anticipating the internal practice as well. Um, so that was just my uh, my bits and pieces in introducing you to UniX. If you didn't know, there's so much I could talk about and rave about this topic um, for hours and hours and hours. I've done a, a three-hour workshop for beginners on, on, on UniX where the last hour was much more to, a, to a answer different type of questions and what to expect. After you, be, you finish your first uh, initiation, I'll say, there's so much more to explore. You can do use them in dream work, and there's a lot of di there's a huge difference between having the the uh, the crystal within your womb, and like you can have one under your pillow, one within your womb, and you just take your dream work to a different level, to a different space. Um, that's not something I recommend to beginners. So I'm very very I'm gonna be very clear about that. There's other thing that don't rec do not recommend to beginners, and I always caution you to be very patient with yourself. You are an, on a learning cur learning curve. No need to rush to the next level. Enjoy the level that you are, at, master it, and then move on, uh, or move up, however you you like. Because I've noticed that a lot of people just want to rush, 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 and that is not the way to go. Um, Otherwise, you come back and you'll have to basically go back and redo everything else, start everything else from scratch. So it's, it's really important to take your time. Okay, so if you have any other questions on any eggs, please feel free to uh, tell me or let me know and send them to me, and I'll be happy to answer them. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.